Okay, uh, it's me again. Um, I wanted to redo a video um, on the uh, Pure Nexus project um, built by Beans, uh, Beanstown 106. Um, uh, in my opinion, one of the uh, one of the best developers, um, uh, at least uh, some uh, from some of the ROMs that I've used. Um, um, and uh, I want to, uh, the reason I wanted to redo this video um, is because, uh, first off, uh, I make no claims <laughs> that I'm a lover of layers. But, um, I need to uh, get out there that there are um, so many things that you can do with layers once you uh, look into it um, and, um, and learn more about it. Um, that you can, you can get very, very close to where you were, uh, if not better, uh, than using uh, the theme engine um, as I was uh, using before. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it so that you guys can see this ROM. Um, before I uh, get any further, I want to let you guys uh, know that I am running Exposed Module. Um, not very many. I'm running Gravity Box. As you can see, I have a, uh, a uh, background um, uh, for my drop-down from my... Uh, uh, from my gallery, uh, from some loaded wallpapers that I have. Um, so let's go ahead and get into settings. Uh, I am also running a custom kernel. Uh, I'm running Hell's Core. Um, and I will show you that when we get into About Phone. Um, and also the layer I'm running, um, I will get into that as well. Uh, this was one of the layers that actually made me um, go ahead and switch to this as my daily driver. I was switching back and forth from this, uh, from carbon to this, um, and I'm just going to keep this on now. Um, it's uh, very, very happy with it um, because of the theming, and that was the only thing holding me back. Um, but now, actually, uh, I think I've uh, had some doors open for me. So, um, as you can see, um, this is the Pur uh, Pure Nexus um, ROM by uh, Beans106. Um, it is for the Nexus 6, uh, Android version 5.1.1, um, and I am on build number uh, LYZ28E, uh, and this is build uh, July 5th, and if I'm not mistaken, there's going to be another build out sometime this afternoon, hopefully, um, and that is if uh, Mr. Beanstown can get it um, running um, the way he likes it. He does not release anything unless it's absolutely good to go. Um, so, I'm going to run down through here. Um, most of the settings in this uh, are pretty much uh, to stock um, with some very, very slight variations uh, on some of them. Uh, language and input uh, is, is basically the same. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, under security, uh, you have your uh, screen lock, uh, smart lock. Uh, you can set your encryption if you'd like to. Um, of course, uh, you, uh, you can either um, allow or um, disallow your device administrators. You have your unknown sources uh, and so on. Um, basic stuff um, for a, a Google ROM or a, a Nexus stock uh, ROM. Uh, and really... What I want to get to is the custom settings. Um, again, in your notification drawer, uh, you have uh, your quick pull down, uh, your settings for that. Uh, I'm hoping uh, that we get more than 17 tiles. I'd like to see a couple more in there. I'd love to see screen record um, put in as a uh, quick setting on the tiles. Um, that would be great. Um, uh, but again, like I said, he only puts um, things in his ROMs that work and work good. Uh, so if it doesn't work or if it's got some bug issues, it's not going to be in it. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, we have uh, you, you have your enlarged first row, your brightness slider, and your advanced location, uh, if you so choose. Under recent apps drawers, um, you have your search bar, uh, your recent long press, uh, clear all. Clear all locations and your clear tasks. Um, under status bar settings, your clock and date. Uh, sorry about that. Your clock and date. Um, you can change colors on it. Um, you can uh, uh, set it, your alignment to uh, center or uh, wherever you'd like that at. I always put mine at the center. I just 
think that it, uh, at least for me, it's just my preference. Um, and then you have your AM, PM settings, uh, your, uh, 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 your date, uh, you know, your hidden small, normal, uh, and then your date style, and then, of course, your date format, which gives you uh, plenty of formats to run your date in. Uh, this is a phone. I like to keep it short and sweet. Um, that way it doesn't take up um, my whole uh, status bar. Um, then you have the uh, your show battery percentage. Um, it's hidden inside the icon or next to the icon. Uh, right now I have it hidden because I'm running uh, the three-minute uh, battery mod, um, and I don't want it conflicting with that, uh, so I just have it hidden for now. Um, let's see. Double tap to sleep. Uh, you double tap on the um, on your status bar, uh, and it will put the phone to sleep. I don't use it, uh, but it's there. Uh, brightness control by sliding across the uh, status bar is there. Um, I want to turn that off. Uh, alarm icon, and then your uh, Bluetooth icons, uh, you can choose to have them show on your status bar when enabled, if you like. Uh, let's see here. Nav bar settings. Um we have pretty much uh, the basic uh, set for your nav bar settings. Um, uh, they do have the button layout and your dimensions. Um, I'd like to see maybe a couple more options for that, for the, uh, uh, for the buttons layout. Um, and if they don't, they don't. Uh, I'm perfectly happy with what's on here. As you can see, my, uh, uh, my nav bar uh, icons are very, very different. Uh, and it, that's uh, thanks to or thanks to a, a layer I found, uh, which will change that. I think it's called Area Fifty One, um, and you can you can find that on the XDA thread for for the layers. Um, let's see your power menu. Uh, he has a multitude of uh, um, of uh, settings to choose from on that. Um, thank you very much, Beans, for that. Um, then you have your volume rocker controls. Uh, I don't mess with mine. I just like it turning my volume up and down. Uh, app ops uh, and screen recorder. Uh, you can you have screen recording options. Um, I am glad he put that in the ROM. I'd love to see that setting or that have a, a quick toggle. That would be great. And then of course you have clock settings. Um, those are what are included in the um, custom settings. Um, again, I have uh, the Layers Manager uh, installed on this, um, and I am running Drop UI right now. That is a, uh, a super clear uh, type glass look where everything is dependent on the wallpaper that you're running. If you want it really, really dark, run a really dark wallpaper. Um, my... Um, my nav bar uh, icons again are area 51 um, so that's what I have running for layers right now uh, when you use layers you need to apply and do a soft reboot um, I am running exposed module as I as I said uh, previously um, and I, I don't have very many modules loaded uh, there's not a lot of uh, lollipop modules out uh, at least that I use um, I use Gravity Bar. I do use um, uh, Smooth Progress Bars. I haven't tried it on this yet. I'm going to. I'm going to give it a try later on here. Um, but uh, so far, Gravity Box works great. It allows me to color my uh, Wi-Fi uh, icon and my data icon to uh, to color up the app or to color up my status bar, which is what I was looking for. Um, I, you know, I can't find it in a layers, but, uh, in a layers theme, but I can do it with, uh, Gravity Box. Um, so that's, uh, that's really good to go for me for that. Um, again, uh, I'm also running the, uh, three minute battery mod, which I think I have on my quick shortcut. Um, which is, I think, <laughs> outstanding, guys. I mean, if you're running this ROM and you like, uh, to, uh, theme your, um, uh, your status bar and you like different battery icons uh, and such, uh, I highly recommend this mod. Um, uh, again, um, you can pick from batteries that you've pre-downloaded, uh, and it's your choice whether you want to save them or just install them on the fly. Um, I have several that I have saved. Uh, these are the ones that I've downloaded and saved. I'm running 
uh, colorable number 27, which is a white. It comes white, but when you go into settings, uh, the uh, settings tab actually allows you to uh, change the colors uh, to what color you want. Um, right now I'm at mid-level, so it's changed to that color that I have set for mid-level. Um, I was running a Cayenne uh, as my full level. Um, and when it gets uh, to the 25% mark, it will show an orange color. Um, and of course my battery text is, uh, is about the same color as my mid-level. Um, a very nice mod. I highly recommend it. Um, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. Uh, again, uh, this is the Pure Nexus project uh, or uh, the Pure Nexus ROM from Beanstown 106. Um, a uh, recognized uh, developer on XDA um, and in my opinion one of the best uh, developers that I've had the pleasure of running uh, at, uh, ROMs from, custom ROMs. Um, I was a big fan of his uh, builds for the uh, Galaxy Note 2 uh, Verizon Edition. Um, I loved Beans 22. That was my go-to ROM for a long, long, long time. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that this ROM develops somewhere near that. Um, but again, uh, I just have to get it out there that this is one of the uh, most stable ROMs that I've run so far on my Nexus 6. Um, no force closes, no reboots, you know, no random reboots, no, no hiccups, no stuttering. It's, it's a super smooth ROM. Now, uh, if I start having issues with it, I can't blame the ROM because I am running exposed modules. Um, and, uh, if you're going to ask any questions, make sure that you uninstall exposed, um, if you're running it or any mods that you may have on your ROM before, uh, posting any questions. Uh, again, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, you know, it's, it's YouTube. Uh, but uh, I will see you on the next one.